Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And this is gonna be for the company F-R-I-E-Q. And it's gonna be the medium case for your GoPro. And it's also water resistant, has a zipper, has a little handle here. And again, it keeps your GoPro and accessories safe, protected and organized with excellent cut foam interior. So we're gonna be putting it to the test taking a look at it, getting some close-up shots, so stay tuned for that. And again, this is gonna be for GoPro 4, 3 Plus, GoPro 3, 2, or 1. And I guess you could even put your GoPro sessions inside this as well. It might not have a slot for that, but we're gonna to get to that in just a second. But we will be testing this out with the GoPro 3 Plus. So let's go ahead and open this guy on up. Very nice. I have reviewed products from this company before, and they do make quality, quality products, guys. So again, right there, a cool case about the size of my head right there. And again, they call this the medium one. And it actually looks very, very nice, guys. I wasn't aware the top of it actually looks like it's kind of a carbon fiber color. And so again, we'll get close-up shots of that, but see the kind of a gloss there? Very nice. It actually looks like it has a carbon fiber pattern. That's a good looking case. Has the company logos on the zippers. And let's go ahead and open it on up here. So we'll go ahead and open that on up. And very nice, guys. We have a zipper right up here with a nice little mesh area where you can have some of your back casings, etc. And there is our little strap for our little hook right over there. We'll get to in just a second. We've got some little gel over there we'll get rid of. And a very nice, again, a very nice area. Oh, we got a little carabiner there as well. And that is a nice little mesh area there. And then we have all of our cutouts right here, guys. Now it looks like this is just a complete piece of foam here, and we'll kind of have to get to the areas and the locations here, but it looks like it's just a massive piece of foam with all these different inserts here. And it looks like you have to kind of poke out the inserts like this. So the inserts kind of poke out like this, each individual one like this. So it's almost like a little puzzle. These come out, and then you have little slots for your back doors, little slots for your batteries right here. So I guess if you weren't using those slots, you would just take these little pieces and put it back in, etc. But again, different slots for each different type of thing here. Here we go, like a little back door there. And I guess your GoPro would go right here in this one, or possibly this one here. And then again, it is all completely lined with nice soft cloth on the inside there. And then this, I guess, would just go ahead and just go back on inside. And then you can just go ahead and put your GoPro in the different slots or locations right there. So very cool, guys. Let me go grab my GoPro and we're going to come on back and check it out. All right, guys, so I got my GoPro 3 Plus Black Edition right here. I do have it with the waterproof flotation device by GoPro. So it makes it pretty, pretty thick here. Now what we can do here is we can just choose any one of these slots here. Probably I'll be using these ones down here. And you go ahead and just put it upside down or whatever location you want it to. And as we can see there, it's a nice fit in actually the one over here to this side here. Your right, my left. And then again, that would just close up like this. And again, with that foam pad, it makes it a little bit thick, but it still fits in there very nicely. Again, the foam pad will squish down if needs be. And so that does pass the test with the flotation back door on there as well. Now you could put it up in that slot here, up here this direction, but this one seems to stick in there really well right there. And then again, guys, if you didn't want to use your different pieces, you just take these and smash them back there in there again. I don't know why you would, or if you wanted back doors and then you wanted to kind of like put it in there halfway like that, you can do whatever you want, I guess. It's totally up to you what you want to do with these foam pads. But again, they're like little puzzle pieces here. And then, guys, we have our little clip here for right up here on the back of it. There's this little clip area. And you go ahead and just clip it in right there. And you have your little handle for your hand right here. And then you also have a carabiner that you could put on that little clip. And then you could clip your little thing to it here or whatnot, but what's cool about the carabiner is that you could actually clip this whole entire case to the back of your backpack, and so that you wouldn't have to shove that in if you needed to just to pull this out really quickly. You could carabiner that on the back of your backpack on a little hook, on your suitcase, on your 
carry-on bag for your airplane. You know, whatever's clever, guys. Whatever you want to do with that is up to you. All right, guys, so here is the carbon fiber print of it. Very nice. And that, again, is all the way around, even on the sides and the back here. And I don't have it zippered up there. But again, as it comes around all the way to the back here, and we have the logos on the zippers here, and there's your little hook for your carabiner and handle. And then it's zippered all the way around here to the front. That opens up to a nice mesh area here. And then here are all your cutouts here. So my GoPro would be right in that little slot there, or that slot, whatever you want, whatever slot you want. You could even jam that guy right up in there. You could put your batteries right here, your back doors here. Two different GoPros, three different GoPros, I guess whatever you wanted to do. It doesn't really fit in that one unless I guess maybe you turn it around that way and that would fit right there. And then again, you just kind of have to smash it down just a little bit on that foam pad if you have the pad on there. Zips up just nicely like that, guys. Well, definitely a nice case, guys. Definitely high quality, well made. And that would definitely keep your GoPro in good condition. And what I do like about it is that I actually didn't get that on camera, but right here on the edge, the zipper actually zips up. And so you don't see an actual zipper. It's almost like the quality of it kind of compresses the zipper in where the rain really wouldn't be able to penetrate through unless obviously you drop it in water or something like that. But again, it's almost like a little seal that puts around when you do zipper it up. Now when you unzip it, there you can see the zipper right here on the bottom, but it almost has this layer of protection around the zipper, which is really nice. I like that. I didn't notice that until right now. Well guys, thank you so much for watching the review. And if you guys want to get your hands on this yourself, look in the description box below the video where you're going to see a link to this exact same product. And also guys, stay tuned. I got a lot more unboxing and review videos in the books for all sorts of different things. So check back on the channel and stay tuned with what I'm reviewing guys. Until the next video, my name is Chris. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next review. Bye-bye.